name is Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to work with speed in Adobe Premiere Pro. It's really awesome to play around with speed but it's a little bit difficult at first. Once you get to know it, it's actually pretty simple to work with speed. So let's open up Premiere and get started. Alright, so let's take another look to speed in Premiere and more in depth. So in the previous tutorial I was talking about transitions uh, where I did some speed in that transition. But we have a lot of other functionalities in speed and yeah, uh, a lot cooler ones as well. So let's check these out. So I have here some footage uh, of um, horses and also some selection of drones. So let's use these drones uh, for now. I will use this clip right over here looks good and I want to make it really fast and then slow down all of a sudden and the way I would do that is drag up my layers here so I can actually get a nice view of my clip here and then I will right click show key a clip keyframes it's uh, at the bottom of your selection so make sure and that you go all the way down and then you will see time remapping speed and if we're going to play with that you will see that uh, it gets updated right here you get a line in the middle of your video what I want to do here is actually find a spot where I want it to speed up so this whole part I want it to be to be very fast so right here I will click on my clip and click on this diamond here which will make a keyframe you will see it right over here and over here that we have a keyframe and then apart from that actually that's it so right here we have this line and if we drag this up all the way up we can even drag it a little bit further up to 1000 percent and you're going to see that our clip gets uh, shortened right here if we're going to play this back here we now have a very fast and then a very slow um, timing here so if we're going to render this out just so we can see it in real time we have it going really fast and slow down And of course the clip is a little bit too short but you get what I'm trying to say so right now you can also see that we have this here and if we're going to drag this out you're going to see that it's getting this horizontal well and uh, this this curve here and that's just going to make it not so abrupt so it's not going from 1000 to 100 percent it's going slowly to a 100 percent so you get a nice uh, transition to the real-time footage as well you can also play with this if you're going to drag this to the right uh, to the left I'm sorry you're going to get these curves and these are going to make sure that it's going to happen very smoothly so actually I'm not sure what I've done there so I will drag this out to the right this more to the left okay there we go and if we click on this again well on one of these you can still drag this a little bit more so that way you can really create a nice graph which is going to make it start from really fast to really slow ending so to a really slow ending so we're going to play it like that I'm just going to make it a little bit longer at the beginning here and preview it like this So it's that simple, you just create a new keyframe, so let's do it one more time, we'll click on a keyframe and you will see uh, this little line here, this indicator of our timing, now we'll make this a lot faster, so drag it up, and then if we drag this apart, so it's just not one thing, It's if we drag it to the right, it's going to slow it down, if we drag it to the left, uh, we're going to affect it the other way around, so really cool definitely play around with the time remapping in Premiere Pro you can do a lot of cool things with that alright so that's it for this video if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and if you liked the video give it a like <laughs>